to my channel if you are new here. My name is Rachel and I am a women's body transformation coach. Thank you so much for joining me on this next video. I'm going to be sharing with you five secrets that high performing women use to get in shape. I know what it's like, your career is booming, you're making more money than ever, you're networking more, but one thing is slipping and that is your body. So don't panic because I'm here and I'm gonna share with you the best strategies that I use myself, but that I also use with my clients to get the results that they actually want while still being able to perform in your career, in other areas of your life and not letting any area slip. So let's break this down step by step. Step number one. Now, I guarantee that this is something that you already do when it comes to your career. You will do this on a day-to-day -day basis without even realizing, and now all we need to do is actually just implement it into your health and fitness. And that is to plan and organize absolutely everything. When you're gonna meal prep, when you're gonna do your workouts, when you're gonna get your steps in, the times you're gonna go to bed and the times you're gonna wake up. You need to get so organized on every single aspect because if you can do that, just like you work block things that you do for your career, I guarantee you it will be so much easier to get the things done. But also, it will show that you're prioritizing these things. It will show that you actually know you need to do these things in order to get in shape. And when it's in your diary, you are more than likely going to commit to getting it done. So this might mean that you need to rejig some things around when it comes to work. This might mean that you actually need to take a lunch break because I know so many of you don't do that. So spend some time actually planning things out in your diary. Plan when you're going to meal prep. Plan when you're even going to eat so that you actually eat your food instead of skipping meals, getting home from work, eating a whole bag of crisps and then it's dinner time and after dinner you're bloody starving as well. So plan everything out to a T. Step number two, get yourself up earlier in the morning. Whether it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm not saying you need to wake up at 3 a.m. and get all of your workouts, your training, everything done in that time. What I'm saying is just wake up that little bit earlier because that part of your day where the chances are you're snoozing your alarm, you're sat scrolling on social media, you're doing things that aren't serving you, you are literally just wasting time when you can actually be using that time to help you get in shape. So set your alarm a little bit earlier, get yourself out of bed when your alarm goes off and start your day. Front load your day, whether that means getting out for a walk in the morning, whether that means getting your workout done in the morning, do something first thing in the morning so that sets you up for the rest of the day. Do something for yourself first thing in the morning. Don't use it as a reason to then start working, start checking your emails. Get yourself out of bed and go and prioritize something that is gonna help you to get in shape. Step number three that is actually gonna help with step number two. And that is get yourself to bed earlier. Now, I know you're probably thinking, Rach, I have no time. By the time I get home, I make food for the kids, my partner, myself, whoever it is. Then I unwind, I have a bath, I sit there watching TV. That's why you're slipping up straight away. Don't tell me you don't have enough time, but you can sit there and watch an hour of TV every single night. Scrap the TV. Yes, it might be ideal. You might like it. It might be a bit of you time, but if you are not happy in your physique, if you being out of shape and feeling uncomfortable is impacting other areas of your life, then I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to sacrifice the TV. Turn the TV off, get yourself to bed earlier. That way, when you get to bed earlier, step number two becomes so much easier by waking up earlier. Get rid of distractions and the things that are not serving you and actually pop a really decent sleep routine in place. An evening routine that's going to help you unwind, that's going to help you shut off from work for the day and allow you to get some good quality sleep so that when it comes to waking up earlier in the morning, you don't actually struggle. You don't lie in bed snoozing your alarm five times. Instead, you can get straight out of bed and get on with your day. And this is why step two and three are so, so important because if you can front load your day, you have less to do in the evening. But also if you can make sure you unwind earlier in the evening and get to bed earlier, it's easier to front load your day. Step number four, 
bulk cook meals for the week. Whether that means you make a few meals for the next few days, or maybe you make the whole week and freeze the meals. If you're saying that you have no time to meal prep or no time to cook a healthy meal of an evening, then help yourself out and do it at the weekend or on your day off. There is no reason why you cannot meal prep and get yourself really organized for the day ahead. Don't use it as an excuse. Don't try and convince yourself all these stories that you don't have time to cook decent meals because you do. Everyone has some time. And if you don't have the time, you need to make the time. Because ultimately, this doesn't just come down to you feeling good in your physique. This comes down to how your physique, how your energy, how your mood impacts other areas of your life, including your career, including your relationships. If you feel good in yourself, if you have great energy, if you're in a good mood, shall we say, most of the time, that's going to impact other areas of your life. On the flip side of that, if you're not fueling your body correctly, if you feel shit, if you don't like how you look, if you feel tired all the time, if you're moody, that's gonna have a negative impact on areas of your life. So you need to spend some time meal prepping so you're fueling your body so you feel good. And that means whether that's an hour at the weekend, two hours at the weekend, however long it takes, freezing the meals and having them there ready to consume when you get home of an evening. Maybe you've had a really long day and you can't be bothered to cook. I get it. I actually get that. But don't let that then be a reason for you to go and order a takeaway, which you know, yes, you might enjoy in the moment, but you know after that you're going to regret it. Get yourself so organised. Meal prep, bulk cook. That way you don't even have to stress about food. And tip number five, get yourself in an environment that forces you to level up. And what I mean by that is you are the product of the five people that you spend the most time with. Have a look at the five people that you spend the most time with right now and ask yourself, is this who I want to become? Does this support the woman that I want to be? I'm not telling you to get rid of people from your life. What I am saying is you need to choose your environment very carefully. If you want to lose weight, if you want to transform your physique, but you are spending so much time with people that order takeaways all the time, people that eat so much junk food, that don't go to the gym, that don't get steps done, that don't even move, how can you actually expect yourself to be able to do that? Because willpower, discipline, we can only do so much with that. You need to be around people that want more for themselves, that actually want to achieve these results or similar results to you. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but people that actually want more from themselves, more from their life. So have a look at your environment. Are you spending time with the right people? Or are you just to come into those around you and actually lowering your standards to theirs? So to summarize the five steps, step number one, get so organized and plan everything into your diary. Step number two, front load your day by waking up earlier. Step number three, get yourself to bed earlier. Step number four, make sure you're bulk cooking meals. And step number five, who's in your environment? Who are you spending the most time with? If you want to be connected with a community of high performers, our team is full of them. We have Shana, who is a nurse, and she works long, long shifts. She works 12 hours, days, nights, you name it. There's not really much structure when it comes to her work shifts. But she has completely transformed her physique from this to this in four months. Then we have Ruth, who is a pharmacist. And again, she works long, long hours. And since February 2023, she has gone from this to this. At this current moment, she's lost 17 kilograms, all whilst working. And as you can see, there are also so many other transformations as well. Right now, in the description below, there is a link to book a call with myself or one of my team where we can show you how you can become one of our high performers in 2024. So click the link below and let's chat. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching this episode. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. I'd love to hear what your biggest takeaway was from this video. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next episode.